Hello, today we're going to be talking about some liquid fertilizer. So let's get started. Hello, welcome back to My Green Lawn. Today we're going to be talking about this, this liquid fertilizer. It's, it says uh, lawn food, spring and summer. It's a 15-0-15, meaning 15% nitrogen, 0% phosphorus, and 15% potash. The brand on this is Simple Lawn Solutions. I'll have a link down in the description down below if you're able to find this. Here's the analysis, and it's so tiny you can't barely read it. But it's a 15% nitrogen, like I said, 0% phosphorus, 15% potash. It does have about 10% sulfur in it. it. Has some humic acid, it's fulvic acid. So I think since there's no iron in this product that we're going to actually mix in some iron with this product and put some iron down too. So it covers uh, 3,200 square feet. I just want to show you the product. Love these spray bottles. They work out really well. These are great spray bottles. I'll probably actually hang on to this spray bottle because they are reusable. At least they used to be. I'll have to check that out. They used to be reusable. I don't know if they still are. They work fantastic. You can spray other things out of this as long as you know the rate. So let's go ahead and throw this dust down. So it does say to uh, use this before you use it. It says to shake it well. I did shake it well before I started filming. So let's go grab a hose. A little bit of room in there, I can stick some iron. I'll be right back. Okay, I added a little bit of iron to this thing, so the bottle's pretty full now. Got some iron in here, 5% liquid iron. So let's go ahead and put this on our hose and start spraying. Just in case you're wondering, the spray head does come off the bottle, so you're able to keep this bottle and use it for another product that sprays about the same product per 1,000 square feet. You'll have to do the math yourself for the particular product you're using. But uh, I find these to be very helpful bottles. Just thought I'd throw that in there. Love these hoses. These are the zero G hoses. The uh, flexible ones. The um, I've had these for probably three years now or so, and yeah, they're dirty, but I love them. I like the rubber hoses that kink and they're hard to roll up. These work great. There's another good one out there, a Flex something or another, Flex, can't remember the name of them. I'll put a link to these in the description too if you're interested. They're a little bit expensive. I got two of them up here. But they, they do work great. I do love them. So there's three settings on this. There's off, water, and on. So if I just want water, I can put it there. But one on is going to spray everything in here. I put it on there, and it's going to give me the mix of water and the product. Okay, we're going to start with here. We're going to do a quick trim pass all the way across the edge. We don't have to run. Spray everything evenly if you can. Just give everything a spray. Spray everything nicely. You can spray your, if you got like a lawn food, you can spray your, your flowers, bushes, lilac. I usually like to walk backwards when I'm spraying because I don't like to walk in my mist. If I was to spray forward, I'd be going like this. 
and I'd be walking through my mist. I don't personally like to do that, that's just me. You, uh, you can do whatever works best for you, whatever you're most comfortable with doing. You can see I'm getting even coverage here. I'm just, we're not soaking anything. This is a foiler type of application, so we just want the, the product to sit on the grass blade and be uptake by the leaf. So we don't need any, you know, we don't want, we don't need to be soaking it. And we don't want to, but definitely don't want to put the stuff down when we're expecting rain, right? So, okay, I turned on the water for my wife and back, so <laughs> I just lost my pressure, but that's okay, I'm done. So, that's it. All right, the first time I filmed that, I was spraying, I did the whole yard, and I was giving you advice and then I got done and I walked up to the camera and I wasn't recording. So I had a little bit left in here. I kind of sprayed it again kind of quickly, a little faster than I normally would have gone, but you get the gist of it. You just slow it down a little bit. I, I did spray a little bit fast. I wanted you to see me spray the whole yard. But uh, yeah, just give it a nice even coat. Coat everything really nice. It, it, you know, we're not soaking anything. We're just a foiler uptake, so we're just making sure that the chemical, the product is covered. All the leaf blades, grass blades. Let this soak overnight. And in the morning, we can go ahead and water, and uh, then we'll see what happens. So we can see the lawn how it looks right now. Maybe I'll take a picture. And then in like uh, three, three days or so, we'll take another picture and we'll see, we'll kind of compare. I'll try to get the same lighting. The sun's about ready to go down. So I'll try to get the same lighting so that we have a uh, comparison. I mean, if it's bright one day and cloudy another day, it's gonna affect the way the grass looks, you know. It may look greener in the shade and it might look, it might look washed out in the sun i mean so i'm going to try to get the same lighting for you thank you all for joining us here on the my green lawn channel we hope that you're getting a lot of information from the videos we're able to use some of the information sometimes you want information from multiple sources and then you'll take that information and do what you will with it maybe use you know create your own way of doing it from listening to what a bunch of other people say. So I'm hoping that I can give you my input toward, to the way that I do my own lawn care and, I'm, and you're able to use that in the way that you're able to modify your own lawn care. So thank you, thanks again for joining us here on My Green Lawn and I'll see you in the green. You have a great day. Thank you.